My name is Avna Bwadia Jamal. I go to Carnegie Mellon. I'm in the PhD in robotics and I'm expected to graduate in 2026. I think that ultimately I want to be working on technologies that do center marginalized communities. I think like a lot of my work right now focuses on designing with communities. And so thinking about how we can um, really involve people um, who have been currently marginalized within the design process. When you look at a lot of our technological devices um, and like trends, they focus towards more exclusivity. And really this scholarship has given me the opportunity, one, to be able to, you know, be on a similar footing where I am able to purchase things and like have a workspace within my house that I can do research in, um, but also have these similar opportunities to go out and meet scholars, you know, opening doors to have similar access um, for me um, as uh, the people that I am surrounded by. Hi everyone, I'm Devin Woodfine. I attend California State Polytechnic University Pomona, majoring in mechanical engineering. I'm a junior and I am anticipated to graduate in May 2024. I was born and raised in South Central Los Angeles to a single Jamaican mother. As a kid, I was interested in designing and building robots. And growing up, I was a big fan of manga, comics, and anime. And my favorite characters were designing and building gadgets and using technology to like save the day. And I also wanted to go into the medical space, having family members who suffered from illnesses. So I wanted to use technology to basically create practical solutions for people with chronic illnesses and diseases. My name is and uh, you can call me Ola for short. I attend Virginia Tech where I study um, computer science. I'm actually having my PhD in computer science. I'm currently in my third year. When I graduate, um, I'm going to like, explore a career uh, and then somewhere in, uh, in the middle of my career, like start up a company. The reward in, um, ex in uh, exploring a technical field or the field of technology is um, extremely great. So keep that before your eyes uh, as you study and then like prepare uh, for uh, careers in technology and let that kind of encourage you uh, whenever you feel discouraged. After I graduate, I'm looking at starting a career as an applied scientist. Um, my reason for this career is because it's going to uh, give me the necessary opportunity to conduct uh, novel research towards the advancement of technology. My area is electrical and computer engineering, and I'm expected to graduate at 2025. As a kid, I've always loved uh, computers, and I have always been curious on how uh, they operate. And this growing curiosity had made me do some concept of research, and I was able to understand the working principle of computers, their application to various areas uh, in order to enhance uh, the quality of life. The scholarship, apart from the recognition uh, winning this scholarship uh, gives me, uh, it will help me financially uh, with my student fee and also growing my connection uh, while making significant progress towards my PhD. Also, uh, I'll be using part of the funds to attend uh, the NSBE, uh, which is a National Society for Black Engineers uh, National Conference, which is expected to be held at Kansas City. Hi everybody, my name is Roman Scott. I am a junior at Stanford University studying management science and engineering, and I'm minoring in political science and African-American studies. My advice for other black students who wanna pursue a degree in technology is don't allow anybody to discourage you from achieving your dream. No matter what it is, whether you wanna be an engineer, whether you wanna be a CEO, a politician, run your own billion dollar company, Remember that no dream that you have is too outlandish for you to fulfill. The only person that's going to get in your way, the only person that's gonna stop you is going to be you. And the only person that can make your dream happen is you. This scholarship has been such a blessing for both me and my family. So I'm grateful that Cadence, they saw my application, they saw who I was as a person, they saw the potential that I had and they were willing to back my dream and, you know, fulfill the dreams that I had of going to college and uh, getting this incredible education.